Welcome back to another video. Something just hit me again. Uh, dawned on me. So you know how you keep thinking to yourself, this is my fault that this happened? Well, in this particular event, I kept blaming myself for why certain people walked out of my life. Turned out, it was not my fault per se, it was their decision. And for years, I have been blaming my own self. Rather than... Really? Blaming myself for their absence. However, I now know that they were 3D people who only sought after me for one reason. And one reason only. Person one wanted date only. Person two, date only. Person three, date only. Person four, I want you to be my sister. Meaning, no, just that. Sister from another mother. And I told him, if it happens, it happens. Because, one, I don't really know you that well to be saying that you're my brother. Okay. And since we just started talking, I don't know you that well. Do you feel that way? What happened? He left to never be heard from ever again and I know I hurt him by saying if it happens it happens um but I kept blaming myself for the lack of people in my circle who I talk with like I said, most people came for date only, and since I told them no, or something else prevented it from happening, and they left anyways. But that sister one it threw me for a loop, like, we just started talking, and you're asking that. But the other thing that he did was change his username to match my... I'm trying to think. I, I can't even remember what his username was that he changed to, but instead of being something Einstein, he went with like an Aculite name under my username. That is the only way I can explain it. Um, so he, in a sense, wanted to be my Acolyte, except he wanted me to be his sister because he thought I was his tribe in that sense. However, since I told him, I basically don't know him that well. Let's see what happens. He just upped and left, never responded to my, any of my messages, and he still remains in the Discord server, but he has not logged in for months and never responded to any of my messages that I did leave him. 
after that. Um, yeah, that one was kind of weird. Uh, he was, uh, in a sense, thirsty because he did he did change his username before he even asked me, was it okay to do that? So I, I told him something and he changed his username back and he apologized and all this, but then he went into more detail. Like, he did it because he wanted me to be bro, bro and sister, and I'm like... I don't know you that well, and so in my opinion on on that one, it's uh, when you tribe with your certain people, you will obviously call them best friend sister, brother, etc. However, uh, for me, it usually takes longer to see if there is a connection of that degree rather than just, oh look, another pretty face and let me be your sister, let me be your brother, I'm in love with you. Basically, he was crushing on me pretty hard, and I think that's why he wanted me to be his sister, rather than, oh, you're from the same soul tribe, let's go with that. But he didn't, because I hurt him, and he walked away. But I have been blaming myself for the lack of people in my circle because of what they did and blames it on myself for why they left when I did absolutely nothing wrong. They either stay in 3D and I want nothing to do with them or they threw me for a loop like the brother and sister one. Um, well, there was this one time where I did do that role play and it worked out. However, you have to... Well, it, it, role play. I mean, how else do I explain that? Uh, but it didn't really last. If I, okay, basically, we moved the role play into a LARP, which turned into. No, wait, since LARP is real life, uh, yeah. We turned the role play into this fantasy in real life, which is literally LARP. Except uh, this was still done all online, however, it was done outside the roleplay. Did this last? No. It did not last. Um, the brother and sister roleplay was turned into LARP. That did not last. Um, have I... Uh, um, is there any other things uh, that I've done? Well, yeah, there was this one, but he wasn't my friend unless we were roleplay only. And that turned into, you know what, since you're not messaging me on your own, and then you go 
say something like, I disappeared, and to that I say, one, I was always posting on my page, you just never saw it, or never messaged me on your own, then you assume I was the one who disappeared when I never did. So that roleplay was just that, roleplay only, I'm not your real friend, I'm this roleplay friend only. And I'm like, everything he was posting on his wall anyways was just so sheeple. And I noticed the more people who act 3D, the more friends they have, the more comments they will have, the more interactions, likes, so on. When a person is on 5D, what happens? For me, since I've removed myself from the 3D sheeple nonsense, my energy is so high that no one can understand, no one can relate to me, no one can really approach me because they're afraid. And I've been told this before by someone, maybe more than one person, however, they are not in my life anymore. They left. Or I left them. So being on uh, 5D has been quiet, lonely, and relaxing all at once. Um... It's not me, it's them. That's the point. They made their decision to cut me out of their life or never approach me because I'm not sheeple enough. So, we'll play friend only. That, that really aggravated me and pissed me off as well. Um, I'm like, okay, I thought we were cool. Oh wait, you're just using me for roleplay purposes only. Yeah, not my thing. I want not <laughs> roleplay friends only. I, how do you explain that? You can't. I mean, if you have not been though, and uh, wait. The person only came around when they needed something, and when they didn't need something from you, they go away. And that's what they did. This person is fake, I don't like his energy of what he puts out, he constantly talks like a 3D sheeple person, uh... Or maybe it's because I'm not into Battle Royale stuff, PvP, um, I don't know. I can't really remember all his posts other than he kept talking about how he was playing his characters in Fortnite, doing PvP stuff, and I'm not really into that stuff. Um, then again, well, no, not into PvP. PvP kicks my butt. That and they always say you have to learn your rotation in depth and I'm like, nope, I'm a casual, I'm a filthy casual, I'm not hardcore. So if being hardcore is sheeple, fine, whatever. Uh, I'm just a filthy casual. <laughs> um, have I ever roleplayed 
in a game before. No. No. I... Too afraid. Have I Ville played outside of a game? Yep. Non time ago. Um... Haven't since because... No one is really into that, and as I said, I've lost too many people, and they don't approach me, so, yep, it's been very quiet on my end. Um, only thing I've done in games, random group finder. It, uh... Pretty bad, actually, um, if you think about it. If you don't know anyone, good luck, because senses are, yeah, for a person like myself, it's, no. If I don't know you outside the game, senses are, I will never find anyone in that game. And it has remained to be true to this day. Then again, I'm not on the sheeple nonsense, so... Yep. Basically, what type of character would I be? Loner, so that would be Death Knight and Demon Hunter. And, uh, Druid. So on those three, Druid and Demon Hunter. Not Warlock, even though they are loners, but to, on that point, it's more like a demon hunter than anything. Necromancer, uh, no. No. Paladin would work, except... I don't really know how to roleplay that, but all I do know is the skill set is mostly light. Just this, just that, light this, light that, <laughs> pretty much in the skill book, so, yep. Um, but I, as I said, never well played before. Uh, um, well, I did meet this one person, but he's just never logged in ever again. Was he a friend? Not really, because he only asked me weird questions. Can't say it on YouTube, so you can kind of guess what that would be. Wanting my help, because who knows why. Why do I keep... This was a theme back in the day. Everyone was coming to me because of a certain something that can't be said on YouTube and ask me for help. And I'm like, why does this keep happening to me? Like, why? Why these questions all the time? Oh, wait, that's right, because you're a guy, I'm a girl. That's it. So you can kind of imagine, but this guy had a GF and was laying that on me, like, what? And basically how I met him was I was running through, I don't even remember well. Uh, basically, he was being attacked. I randomly found him. I killed the monster. He thanked me. He added me. And then the next day, we found another person, added him, except he never spoke to any of us. And I'm like, okay, why add this guy who never talks to either of us? And the other thing is that I didn't like was this guy kept adding me to his party 
but never ran dungeons, never ran a group together. I was always in a different zone than them, and well, I was going to run them through a dungeon, but they were mad because I was too high of a level, so they couldn't run group finder, and I'm like, but I know the next dungeon location, I'll take you though. So I go though, and wasted my time because he goes, I don't know what the location is. And I'm like, well, forget that idea. So, yeah. And that's my time in a group of two people who wouldn't really work together. And uh, I over I out leveled them so we couldn't do group finder. Uh, ran a healer through group finder, but kept out in strangers. Didn't work very well because I never ran with them ever again. And most of these people never logged back into the game anyways. Did I try finding a random guild? Yes, but if you don't know the people to, to talk to to get in that guild, your chances are not going to get in there. Uh, to click the apply join button doesn't work. I tried it, doesn't work. Um, so yeah, have I tried forums? Doesn't work for me, no one responds to me. Oh, they'll respond to other people, but ignore me. Like, is it my username for my character? Is it how I write these sentences? How I speak? Is there something wrong with me? No, I'm not a 3D evil person, so everyone ignores me. I, I don't know, but that's kind of continuing the, the theme of it's not me, it's them. They left my life. Or I never could get in their life to begin with. So... Yeah, it's, it's been, it's been weird, uh, being alive on this world and no one approaches you, and if they did, you were a 3D sheeple person who was interested in the dark arts, and now, since you're not in the dark arts, no one likes you, because you're of light, they were dark, and now you're too high, no one likes you. Meaning, you're on a mountain and everyone is in the dirt, in the valley below, and you're on the mountain top. Um, so, mm. until we meet again.